65, last count Coral at Deputy Catherine Connolly. Carmel Market Minister, I'm taking you on a tour of the islands again, all 30 of them eight of which are Gaeltacht areas representing 70% of the population. And my question is specific. Where is the promised policy? When will it be published? What happened at the last interdepartmental meeting? And bearing in mind that a motion in relation to this matter was put almost two years ago in September, and uh, I'll come back to the finer details uh, subsequently. Mr Humphreys. Excuse me. Um, and thank, thank you, Deputy Connolly, uh, for, for raising this uh, issue. The development of a new islands policy is one of the key elements of our rural future, which, of course, is the government's new rural development policy. The central objective of the islands policy will be to ensure that sustainable, vibrant communities continue to live. On, uh, on the offshore islands. The consultation process undertaken by my department has assisted in identifying the main challenges faced by communities living on the offshore islands. Issues highlighted by the island communities included education, health, housing, energy, employment, broadband and access to services. My officials are now engaging bilaterally with the relevant government departments and agencies to discuss the issues raised by island communities and to assess how they might be addressed. I was pleased to address the annual general meeting of the island representative group Kodal Ilan Neheran last month to reaffirm this government's commitment to the sustainable development of our islands. I can also confirm to the deputy that the scheduled meeting of the interdepartmental committee for the islands was held held on the 30th of June, at which Kodal Ilan Naharan made a very constructive presentation to the committee. Work has begun on preparing a first draft of the island's policy. While it was originally envisaged that the new policy would be published this year, I am conscious that getting it right is the real priority. And this will be my guiding principle going forward. That said, I expect a finalised draft will be ready for my consideration by the end of the year. Thanks, Minister. I'm delighted you got an opportunity to make a presentation, or, uh, and I'm delighted that Kogol Nanilon got an opportunity to make a presentation as well. And I welcome that there's some progress in that you hope that the draft policy will be published by the end of the year. Um, just, it's important to put it in context. 24 years ago, we had an interdepartmental report. It acknowledged what was needed. It acknowledged that they were leading the way the islands, but we needed to back them. 24 years later, we have no policy. 24 years later, we have no underpinning legislation, in contrast to Scotland, where they have policy, where they have underpinning legislation, and where the actual population of the islands have increased, in contrast to Ireland, notwithstanding the Herculean efforts of the islanders to show us the way forward in a sustainable way. So we need a policy which is the most basic thing, and then we need legislation that underpins that policy. Can you just comment on that for me in relation to legislation as well? <coughs> uh, and thanks, Deputy. And first of all, can I agree with you? I, I, you know, I come from a landlocked inland county myself, uh, and I do hope you accept my bona fides that I'm absolutely committed to supporting island communities. In fact, it's my plan uh, to visit uh, a number of islands uh, the week after next, and uh, to, to go and meet them, and to, to have conversations with them, and see uh, firsthand uh, the issues that uh, that and the challenges and opportunities as well that they are presented with. So, uh, as you know, I have approved the business case for Inish Ear. Uh, I've met with, uh, with uh, the Donny, a meeting actually with the Donny, with Tory Island representatives, I think next week. Uh, I have uh, been out to Aaron Moore. I've been to Clare Island. You know there was a problem with the ferry in Clare Island. I got that sorted. So, can I, I just say that uh, I, 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 this, this, this policy document is extremely important, but what I want to make sure is that we do get it right and I want to listen uh, to the stakeholders and I want that continued uh, engagement Thanks, with Minister. them. I, I, thank you, Minister, and I do accept your bona fides, and I do hope you visit Galway as well. We have a number of islands there. They are in an Inishbofin. And just if we look at Inishbofin, which has um, made huge um, progress in relation to ecotourism and dark skies, they're struggling for something as basic as a primary care centre. That's just one example. Yes, you have made progress in relation to the business case for Inishir, and I welcome that. But there are many, many other problems on the ground. And what's not missing is not bona fides. What's missing is a 
policy and legislation underpinning it. And if we look, I've mentioned the interdepartmental report from 96, then we had a joint Oireachtas report from 2014, and then we had the West Cork Island study covering a period 98 to 2004. We've had any amount of reports, any amount of recommendations, but actually no action, and that's the difficulty. So it's policy underpinned by legislation and perhaps when COVID allows we might all take a little trip over to Scotland and get a presentation in relation to their, their policy, their legislation and how they have managed to increase the population. Garamagad. Thanks, thanks, Deputy. Yeah, I'm happy to, to uh, look at, uh, at the model in Scotland as well uh, and, and learn from uh, you know, the things that have worked for them. Uh, but can I just say that I am absolutely committed to delivering this policy for the islands. And uh, it's, uh, it, there's, there's a number of, of, of different agencies in, involved in it. Uh, it's cross-departmental. It's not just my department, as you, uh, as you know. Uh, it's across a number of departments. And uh, we're consulting with them because some of these departments, for example, you mentioned the healthcare centre, that's the Department of Health. And I want to get the commitments from these different departments as to what they're going to do as well and how they're going to make a difference to the lives of the islanders. So uh, I, I, I am I'm working on it. I will continue uh, to make sure that we get this finished as quickly as possible. And you're right when you say this has gone on too long. It has. But we, we're better off now at this stage to make sure it's better to, to wait that little longer and get it right and have a, a meaningful policy that will make a difference to the lives of the islanders uh, on, on, on the different islands right across. In fact, next week, Thanks the week after sure. next, I think I'm going to visit three islands and there is one in Galway on the list as well.